Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Peter Phelps, I bought this Monoprice Mini V2 off eBay for about 45 bucks, and I tore it apart, this is the only thing I could find that was wrong with it so far, um, this is your Z end stop switch, and as you notice there's not a metal plate there, and it doesn't click at all. So, I'm going to be replacing the switch on that with one I got off from Fry's Electronics. It's a little switch inside that package, if it will focus. But basically that's your Z end stop switch, it should be right about here. And this, and I decided to go ahead and make this little video so you can see the guts of the monoprice kind of. Um, it's basically got just a stepper motor with a M5 sided rod. You got two M6 rods here with this. I'll have the bearings in there. Same thing as this. Two M6s with the bearings in there. Um, the V2 does have a couple of better options. I ha I had owned the V1 for a bit, but I had to sell it. And so, uh, and basically, inside the guts, that's your controller board with all the stepper motors. Uh, you want to make sure that all those are connected well. There's a fan port, no fan on this. It would probably be best if there was a fan, at least trying to go over the, the stepper motor uh, to cool down the drivers. Now I'm just waiting for the my soldering iron over here to heat up before I work on that. Uh, you've got your Z-axis stepper motor. It's a little bit different than the regular MS-17s. You've got your another stepper motor over here. That's your Y-axis uh, belt drive, so it moves the bed back and forth. And then you've got lines up to the, the uh, LCD panel. And that's about it. Like these things are all screwed in on top of this through holes in here. So, they get screwed in there, they get screwed in the top. Just here. And then you've got, this is your extruder motor. One of the things I don't like about their design is this lock here. And the use of these Bowden connectors. These Bowden connectors suck. I'm going to probably be changing those up to a bigger one. I have ones that have like a black top and they, they're larger. It's because there's it ends, these things end up giving drag to the filament when it goes through. But you basically got to be careful about uh, changing this or changing the nozzle. There's this itty bitty bitty clip on thing. Let me see if I can find it. Pop this one off. Oops, I hope I didn't lose that. You've got two spring clips here. Put those. Let me see if I back up and zoom in. Focus, focus, come on, focus. Let me pause. And then I think it's where okay. Um, so basically, you want to be really careful. There's a little bitty grub screw and a little metal block in here, and they're holding the, the, the 
he breaks throat in the, this piece now. You don't want to lose those. Uh, if you do, you're almost SOL because uh, Monoprice themselves don't sell them to you. I contacted them once and I lost one. And, but I eventually found it and was able to put the thing back together. But I was panicking for a while. Um, so it was literally. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna stop here now. Work on the. Work on the. And stop switch. Uh, I wish this thing would focus better. You'll see. I'll get it together. Thank you. Bye.